class, welcome to our channel. I'm Teacher Wang, and today we'll be sharing one question from Revels Primary Math World Contest 2018. First, let's look at the question together. Now, I do encourage you to pause this video and try it out yourself. Okay, are you ready? Let's move on together. Over here, in this big triangle OTV, five areas are known, namely triangle OPQ, PQR, QRS, SRT, and triangle STU. All of these five areas are known to be 30. And we are asked to find the area of this triangle SRU over here. First thing, if we are already given the base and height of this triangle, can you calculate its area? Yes, we simply take half of the height times the base. But can this method be applied here? Mm, probably not, because we have no clue about either its base or its height. Then where else shall we start? Note that we are asked to find this area, but what we actually know are some other areas. So what if we can find the relationship between these known areas to the area we are trying to find? then this problem is easily solved. So the key here is to look into the relationship between different areas. Now let's look at a simpler example. If we're given that BD is equal to DC, can you find the area ratio between these two parts? Yes, there should be one to one. Brilliant. Let's check. First, we can draw the height. So these two triangles, their bases are equal, their heights are equal, and definitely their areas are equal also. How about this example? Now we're given that HG is double the length of FH. Can you find the area ratio here? Yes, it should be 1 to 2. Again, we can draw the height first. So these two triangles, they are sharing the same height. And their area ratio is therefore only decided by the base ratio, which is 1 to 2. So from these two examples, we may conclude that when we have two triangles with the same height, we have area ratio equals base ratio. And such a shape, we give it a name. We call it equal height model. It is very useful because when we have this model, if we only know one value, the other one is also known to us. So in a more complicated diagram, how shall we identify such a shape? Does it have any kind of feature? Yes. We may focus on these three points, B, D, C. We observe that they are sharing the same line. What's more, they're all connected to a fourth point. So we can summarize that. Whenever we have three points on the same line, and when they're all connected to a fourth point, we know we have an equal height model. To help you memorize, we call this feature as three to one. So using this equal height model, we go back to our original problem. In this complicated diagram, can you find any equal height model? Absolutely. Over here, we have a smaller one, ORQ, and another example will be OTS. So actually, here are many, many such models. And the area we're trying to find is SRU over here. So are there any models that's containing this triangle? Yes, we can find ORU over here. So in this model, we have Base ratio equals the area ratio. And this area is known to us to be 90. So as long as we can find OS to SU this ratio, this area is solved. But how do we find this base ratio then? Know that we already have three points sharing the same line. Recall what kind of feature does this model have? It's called three to one. So our previous model is actually obtained by connecting all these three points to point R. 
Now I take away point R. All of, all of these three points are connected to another point. What is that point? Yes, it is point T. O, S, U are also all connected to point T. So we link them together to find another equal height model. In this model, again, we can apply base ratio equals area ratio. And what's amazing about this model is that, do we know this area? Do we know this area? Yes, we know them both. So from this model, we can easily solve O, S to S, U, this ratio. And then we can move back to our previous model to solve this area we're trying to find. Now, let's write down what we just went through. First, in this big model, OTU over here, we apply base ratio equals area ratio, which is found to be 4 to 1. Then we can move back to our previous model, ORU over here, and apply again base ratio equals area ratio. This time, the area we are trying to find is simply one-fourth of this triangle over here. ORS, what is its area? It is 1, 2, 3 times 30, which is 90. So our final answer will be a quarter of 90, which is 22.5. So for the original question, we shall pick option A. Problem solved. So this diagram is seemingly complicated, but in our solution, we simply apply the equal height model twice. It's indeed a very useful model, and we will be using it a lot. So let's take a quick recap. For equal height model, it looks like this. How do we identify it? It has this feature called 3 to 1, meaning we have three points sharing the same line, and they're all connected to a fourth point. And what good does this model do? In such a model, we have area ratio equals base ratio. So if we knew one of this value, immediately we know the other one. And I have prepared one more question for you to check your understanding. If you have already mastered what we have just learned, this question will be a piece of cake for you. So I do encourage you to try it out yourself. And if you want to check your answer, please scan the QR code at the end of our video. If you have enjoyed this lesson, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel and maybe share this video with your friends. So I'm Teacher Wang, and I will be seeing you again soon.